What is up, boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more EA Sports UFC 4 Universe mode. We're going to dive in exactly where we left off in the last one. We've got another crazy card going on. Um, can't wait to see how this one goes. Andreas Chattis taking on the wrong Amarin. Now, Andreas Chattis, the slight favourite. Not by much, but still a little bit. Let's see what happens, boys. That's rock and roll. First fight of today's video. Two very high-level kickboxers going at it. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Nice slip there from Chattis. Both men, I believe, coming off a loss. Chattis to Jordan Holmes. And Amar into... Shit, I don't even remember. Was it... Lagi, maybe? Good body shot there for Chattis. Leg kick there from Amarin. Nice knee there from Amarin. Chattis is throwing leather. Someone's cut already. Damn. To the body there. I don't know who takes this one because they're very good high level kickboxers. I don't know. There's a cut on Amarin's nose. Okay. Ooh. Chassis is very wild, man. Just like his father. Very wild. Leg kicking working well there for Amarin. Chassis misses again. Oh, good jab. So Chattis needs to be a little bit more accurate with these shots. Close, kind of like a chess match stalemate kind of fight so far. No one really breaking out and, you know, doing too much. Then again, it is very high level. A lot of distance control. Nice high kick there from Amarin, setting that up. He's, he's bombing on now. A lot of shots being thrown from Amarin. Let's go. Shot there for Chattis. Amarin really ripping them legs. Left hook there for Amarin. Fun fight so far. Well, that does seem like they're really just like feeling each other out for the minute. They haven't really kicked into fighting yet. Nice high kick for Chattis. And again, the leg kick. Amarin fires one back there as well. Oh, high kick from Chattis drops Amarin. Marin in trouble. Chattis there with a lovely ground and pound combination. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Interesting. Some ground and pound. And Marin tries to turn it over. Sturgos denies. Andreas, sorry. Should I say? <laughs> Up again on the feet. So chat is there of a knockdown. Will that change the course of this fight? <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very early. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, Amari clicked again. As he backs up. Chattis. More and more aggressive now. Clips him again. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. Beautiful shots though. From Andreas Chattis. We're going into round, what's that, round three? Or round two? Round two. Here we go. Round two. What a first round, though. Especially near the end there. Chattis really coming out aggressive. Ooh. Combinations from Chattis. High kick drops in. That could be it. Let's see what happens. Chattis trying to go for the kill. Amarin is tough, man. He is so tough. happens here. Very, very tough in the wrong Amarin. Getting some big shots on the bottom. Still in this fight. Credit where credit is due, man, you know? Back to the feet. One kick there. Nice combinations there from Amarin. Been a tough one, to be honest. Because both of these guys, I like both of them. It's kind of sad to watch one of them lose. It is what it is. Ooh, nice straight there for Amarin. Crack there. Oh, down he goes. Chattis, he's very urgent with this, but he doesn't do enough when they are down. Like, he'll follow them down with a punch, but he won't necessarily finish them, if that makes a lot of sense. Probably not. I don't know. Probably not. I just, I like, he'll, he'll drop his guy. 
But that should be it. That should be it. He's very urgent on the ground of pound and he does get it. Andrach Chatis with another knockout victory over the Mar Amarin. Big finish for him. Let's go. Tammy Lagi v Marco Diaz. Tammy Lagi is the favourite in this one by a little bit. We're going to see how this goes. Diaz has had a bit of a rocky kind of start in the UFC. We're going to see if he can keep going though and maybe find his feet. He's fighting Tammy Lagi. This is a very big fight for Diaz. We're going to see what happens. He's in there against that beast. Let's see how this goes, man. Body shot there. Nice. Uh, straight for Diaz though. Body shot for Diaz. Here we go, the clinch work from Lagi. Shoots, nice takedown denial there from Diaz. Lagi not landed nothing so far. Let's see what happens though. Lagi seems very, very slow. Diaz just kind of, you know, on the outside scoring with these kicks. Oh, uppercut from Lagi. Down goes Diaz. Diaz is hurt, man. A nice grappling there from uh, from Lagi there. You know, missed the kick, shot straight under it. Very, very good fight IQ there from Atami Lagi. Let's see what happens here. He's getting some ground to pound shots. Is he going to deny that? He does. Good grappling offense there from Atami Lagi. Let's see what he can do here. Is he just going to land him and slap him again? Please, no. Oh, man. Please, not another snooze fest. I can't do it. Let's see what happens. Diaz can't get up here. He's in trouble. Atami needs to posture up and do something though, because this is just not fun. You know? I will give Diaz some credit though. He's trying hard to get up. He's trying very, very hard. He just can't get back to his feet. Here we go. This is what he needs. Atami Lagi knocks him out. Atami Lagi with another finish. 3-0 in the UFC. Let's go. Another big win for him. Alexander v. Isaac Saker up next. This one's going to be an interesting one. The kind of bottom guys at lightweight. So this is going to be interesting. So this, the favorite is actually Isaac Saker, which is very, very interesting. Isaac Saker's record is... Let me just try and find it real quick. <laughs> Saker is 12-10. and 10, Alexander is 7-3. and 3. We're going to see how this goes, boys. Going to be an interesting one. Two of like the bottom of the division. Who can like bounce back from this? Here we go. I like Saker, man. He always comes for scrap. I feel like this one will be no different there. He's like, this is a good boxing early. Always brings it. Always. Tonight will be no different. He's got some real nice boxing. It's just unfortunate he does fight killers. Tonight, though, he's in there with a the beast as well. Alexander, 7-3. and three. Let's see what he can do. I'm more than happy to keep Saker around. You know, he's a good test against some of these young up-and-comers. Because he's always in the fight as well. Saker could definitely get a few wins and climb back up. But you never know. Oh, fell onto an uppercut there, though, for Saker. Alexander... Some nice shots here. Here we go. Oh, he's falling into shots now, though. Knocked down for Alexander. Thanks to the overhand there. That was nice. Okay. Slips that. Saker needs to throw more when he's up close. He doesn't have the range, and Alexander is really teeing off here. Down he goes. That could be it. Alexander flattens him out. Alexander there trying everything he could to stop him. Saker's still going. He's oh my god, what the hell? That was a weird knockout animation. He's done. He's done. Alexander with a very, very dominant finish over Isaac Saker. So dominant. Unreal. Very excited for this fight. Harry Brown, crazy pressure fighter, taking on Jason Kidd. Harry Brown is the tiny, tiny slight favorite. We're going to see what happens. Uh, Harry Brown is 8-0. Jason Kidd is, uh, what's he, 16-7? 16-8. Let's see how this one goes, boys. 
Let's rock and roll. Harry Brown, definitely a very good prospect in this division. The question is, will he remain a prospect after fighting a legitimate contender in Jason Kidd? We're going to find out. Jason Kidd's a tough dude, and uh, he's a big test for a young up-and-comer like Harry Brown. Jason Kidd gets a win here. You know, it, it makes waves in the division, so we'll see. <clears throat> so far, no one's been able to handle the pressure of Harry Brown, so we'll see what happens. The kid needs to watch out, man, because he could end up getting walked down like the rest of them. Or will kids, you know, provide good footwork, good power, good explosiveness? And will he cause an upset here? We'll find out. Lots of body shots there for Brown. And a nice uh, body kick there, too. Brown with the combos, man. Oh, kick with an uppercut. Perfectly timed there to the chin of Brown. And Brown for the first time in his career we've seen takes a back step. Kid now. In there with a point to prove. Let's see what happens. Nice Superman there. Nice overhand there from uh, Brown, though. Let's go. Kid answers back. This is going to be a good one, boys. Good slip there. We've noticed Harry Brown since being dropped. Hasn't really pressured as much. He's starting to get back to it now. Okay. Good leg kick there from Kid. He's doing a good job staying away and, you know, just attacking a little bit of range. He's working well for him. These shots from uh, Brown, though. He has non-stop ferocity. But he does leave himself open to be clipped. We'll see it a minute ago with Kid with the uppercut. It could happen again if he's not careful. Kid landing a lot of Superman punches there and Brown walking into a few shots of his own. Again there, Kid. Perfect timing for Jason Kid here. See what happens. Good jab. Oh! Straight to the face. Down goes Kid Brown looking to turn things around here. Can he do it? Nice uppercut. Brown slips the front kick there. Left hook buckles Kid. Harry Brown gets clipped by an uppercut. Kid not down and out yet. Spinning back fist. Harry Brown still wobbling. Seems to have recovered. Wow, dude, what a fight. A lot of boxing in this one, man. I love it. Kid is really trying to time him. Do I see that? If Brown ain't careful, man. He could get clipped. Of course, that ultra-aggressive style, you know, walking forward, throwing loads of shots. It does leave you open for counter punches. And Kid is a very good boxer. If I kick for Brown, though, the Kid is buckled. He's on the back foot. Brown looking to push forward. High kick from Kid. What a fight. What a fight of the night so far. There's no doubt about it. Let's go again. We're going into the second round. Non-stop fireworks in the first. Let's go. Okay. Oh, left hook from Kid. And Brown is buckled. Down goes Brown. Look, Kid is having some more success now with the counter punch. He's sitting back and relaxing. Waiting for Brown to mistake. And so far. Oh, down the pipe. Down goes Brown. Kid looking to finish. Brown quickly snuffs out that offense on the ground. And again, straight right. It's proving to be a problem here. Jason Kidd almost with an upset. Jason Kidd proves to still be top flight material at lightweight. What a victory over Harry Brown. Hype train derailed. Lightweight debut for Jordan Holmes. He's taking on Brady Mayfield. This fight, two absolute legends from episode one going at it. You're rarely going to see this ever again. For the first time as well, these guys have never fought. Brady Mayfield is 48 and 15. Jordan Holmes, 36 and 16. We're going to see how this one goes. Jordan Holmes, the heavy favorite going into this fight. Let's see what happens, boys. Let's get it. Here we go. Brady Mayfield ready for a scrap. Jordan Holmes ready for a scrap. Let's see what happens. Oh, off the bat. And Holmes plants it on him already. Brady Mayfield. Oh, this is back with the head kick, though. I never thought I'd see the day. 
Brady Mayfield trying to fucking head kick. What? Holmes, that really hurt Holmes. He seems to be recovered though. Must need air for Brady. Brady's striking ain't even that bad, you know. I don't know why the creator wants him to be a wrestler. Ooh. It's clipped there though, and Holmes beats him to the body. Holmes landing a lot of shots here, and out goes Brady Mayfield. Jordan Holmes with a quick finish. Hatchet man. Claymore v. Martinez. This one's going to be crazy. Miguel Martinez is the underdog. Claymore is just a slight favorite. Claymore is 11-4. Martinez is 9-1. This is going to be an exciting fight, man. Two very high-level strikers. And I do feel like if Miguel wins this fight, you know, this is the biggest win of his career. Claymore is a beast. One of the guys at the top level at lightweight. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Let's roll. This is a big win for both men because both guys have a lot of hype behind them. So we'll see who wants it more, you know? I feel like Claymore is the better boxer, but I feel like Miguel might have an advantage when it comes to the kicking game. We'll see what happens though. Very high level this fight. You can already tell. Oh, buzzed in there. Full pie kick there for Miguel Martinez. Miguel is the naturally bigger man as well. Claymore there. Nice high kick, good body shot. Nice counter shots there from Miguel. And Claymore wobbled. Claymore backing up. Miguel looking to you know, get back in this one. See what happens. Some nice shots there from Claymore. Left hand. Very high level so far. Very, very high level fight. I don't know who gets it done, to be honest. This is going to be tough. Okay. Oh, Martinez now. With a big shot. Okay. It does seem like Martinez has the range and he is using it effectively. But that doesn't mean Miguel is out of this. Oh, Miguel. Uh, Claymore's out of this fight. See what happens. Oh. Good shot. Nice left hand there. That's up there from Miguel. Those combinations there. Claymore is answering back. Okay. Interesting. Okay, for Claymore, it won at the right range, but he hits him with a clean shot there again. Man, this is a good fight. I don't know about fight of the night. That other fight was pretty good, but... These boys keep going. Martinez again, lands clean. Claymore in trouble. Oh, down goes Claymore. Martinez, I don't know what he's doing there. just jumped at him. <laughs> the fuck? High level, man. Very, very high level. Boxing there from Claymore. Let's see what happens. Oh! Martinez drops him again. Claymore still finds his feet. How? Oh, that's over. Can Martinez get an early or a late finish? Sorry, in the first round, no. He cannot. We're going to the second, boys. Okay. Crazy. Actually crazy. I don't know how this is going to end. I think, yeah, I think early this round, someone's going out. But I feel like Miguel is, you know, definitely, yeah. Miguel's definitely doing more damage now. This is a big fight for Miguel, too. If he wins this, man, he's in the picture. One more, maybe, and he could get a title shot. Body work there. Yeah. Nice straight. Okay. Good knee to the body. Nice shots there. Oh man, it's nasty. Martinez just looking to end this. Oh, and he does find the shot. Uppercut on Claymore. Martinez, biggest win of his career. He has hit the big time. 
Colin Ashley and Chad Dalton. This is going to be an exciting one, man. Chad Dalton, the slight underdog. Colin Ashley is, what's his record? 32 and 14. Chad Dalton, 15 and 5. We're going to see how this one goes, man. Excited for this fight. Two very high-level lightweights. Let's see what happens, man. Two former world champions. Two beasts. Let's go. 302. All the madman that is Chad. Let's find out. Jab for Colin. Oh, high kick to start things off. Jack, oh my god. He's in bad shape. He's in bad shape. That high kick hurt him bad. Chad backing up though. Colin with a nice straight counter there. That was beautiful. Hands in the clinch. Chad Dalton in serious trouble. Chad needs to wrestle here. Oh, kick to the chin. Colin Ashley. Flattens him out. Colin Ashley. What a performance. 302 stand up, he's done it again. One of the quickest finishes we've seen from Colin. Beautiful finish. Man, it sucks it's my teammate, but there you go. <laughs> it is what it is. Man, what a finish. Moving on, we got the main event, Dixon v Abdullah. Let's get it. Two of the absolute meanest wrestlers on the roster. Abdullah 17 and 1, taking on Marcus Dixon, who is 33 and 9. The favourite is Marcus Dixon by a long shot. He is a huge favourite in this fight. Let's see what happens, man. Let's rock and roll. Welterweight title fight. About to go down. Marcus Dixon and Abdullah ready for war. Here we go. Let's get it, boys. Front kick there from Dixon to start things off. A little stalemate there. I feel like Dixon's got the better boxing, of course. I feel like it hits the mat. It's going to be pretty damn even. But I do feel like Dixon, that might be... Oh, Abdullah. That is clean. Dixon in trouble. Bottom shot there for Abdullah. Dixon getting pieced up there a little bit. I wouldn't count him out, though. Too much of a beast for that. Oh, Abdullah. What a knockout. Doubt him now. The underdog. With a beautiful first round knockout. Abdullah is the man at 170. Knocks out Marcus Dixon in the first round. Let's see that again. Fell onto an uppercut. Out cold. What a shot. Alrighty boys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment and subscribe. And I will see you for more universe next time. Still some guys, have an amazing day. See you again in the next one.